Everybody has a brain. Today we're going to be talking about intrusive thoughts. That's a broad term for stuff that you don't like that pops into your head. They're more than just thoughts. You might define them as thoughts or memories, images, urges, voices, feelings, unicorns. When I say intrusive thoughts in this video, I'm actually talking about all of the intrusive stuff in your head. And what we're going to look at in this video is a theory for understanding why your brain gives you intrusive thoughts and how you can get rid of them. Your brain is your best frenemy. It actually really likes you and it wants to give you gifts. Your brain is constantly giving you gifts. Most of the time, you just ignore these gifts like you ignore clouds passing overhead. But sometimes, you oh. focus in on one of these gifts. That's bad. You judge it. It makes you feel uncertain. It's scary. You focus lots of your time and energy on it as you try to get rid of it. And you do get rid of it. And you feel really good about that. And that makes your brain happy. Yay. Because it's found a way to make you happy and help you get what you want. If you really like resolving uncertainties and escaping your fears and getting rid of intrusive thoughts, then all your brain has to do is give you more of those so you can spend more time and energy getting rid of them and getting those feelings you want. The more you want those feelings of relief from fear and anxiety, the more your brain is gonna give you opportunities to chase those feelings you so desperately want. This is all normal animal learning behavior. When you get the things you want, Dopamine neurons release dopamine that binds to receptors around your brain. It makes you feel Yay. good. Then your brain's powerful pattern recognition machinery kicks into action. When you engage in compulsions to get rid of intrusive thoughts and other feelings you don't like, you create a pattern. As brains notice patterns, dopamine neurons light up earlier and earlier along the pattern in anticipation of reward. So what are you teaching your brain is the prerequisite to feeling good? Experiencing intrusive thoughts, feeling bad, and engaging in compulsions. So it gives you more of them. If you really want to get rid of the intrusive thoughts, stop trying to get rid of them. Break the pattern. If you react to an intrusive thought with a coping, a checking, or a controlling compulsion, then you're training your brain to have that thought more. But our brains are very economical. They don't waste time throwing stuff at us that we don't engage with. If you accept the stuff in your head as stuff in your head and you stick to your values and you do healthy things, your brain is gonna stop throwing that stuff at you. You are not a dog. You don't have to chase every stick your brain throws at you. If you stop chasing the sticks, your brain will stop throwing them. It's okay to have stuff in your head you don't like. You can have thoughts and memories and urges and voices and images and fears and anything you don't like. You can have all of that bouncing around up there and you can do healthy things that align with your values. That help you be healthy and happy over the long term and reach your goals in life. Let your brain think what it wants to think and take it along for the ride as you achieve your goals in life and you show your brain what you actually wanted to think about.